The Connectivity Standards Alliance, or CSA for short, just hosted a Matter launch event a few days ago in Amsterdam. Matter is a new smart home standard that we've been hearing about for quite a while. Alongside this Matter launch event, we've also heard announcements from you know, some of the smart home brands that many of us use and love. So today let's talk about Matter, this launch event that just took place, all the announcements and just what all this means for you and me in both the near and distant future. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Shane, if this is your first time here, and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home smart home with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. Now, this past Thursday, November 3rd, 2022, the CSA hosted their official Matter launch event. Now, before we go too much further, if you're a little lost still and wondering what is Matter, let's bring you up to speed real quick. Matter is a new smart home standard that essentially provides a common language for your smart home devices. You know, up until now, if we buy a new smart home product, you have to wonder like, does it support Apple Home or HomeKit? Does it support Alexa, Google Assistant? Whatever your preferred smart home platform is, it's all kind of confusing and Matter aims to fix that. If a product supports Matter, it should work in your smart home regardless of what your preferred platform is. So that's kind of the whole point behind Matter. Let's take a quick look at a demo from the Matter launch event by Eve. Hey Siri, turn off Eve Energy. Alexa, turn on Eve Energy. Hey Google, turn on Eve Energy. So that's kind of Matter in action right there. Before Matter, Eve products could only work with HomeKit. But as you can see there in that little demo, soon they'll be able to work with any smart home platform thanks to Matter. And they can all actually kind of work together to control the same devices in the same home uh, if you want to use even multiple platforms. Now, Matter devices connect over Wi-Fi and Thread and like HomeKit, communicate locally in your home without the need to rely on a cloud connection, which is really nice. I'm not going to give a deep dive into, you know, exactly how Matter works and all that, but if you want more info on that, check out this video right here. I'll post a link uh, that I published earlier in the year that does go a bit deeper into how Matter and Thread and all that kind of stuff works. Now that you're all caught up, let's discuss the recent launch event. Again, it took place in Amsterdam. It was a little over an hour long and there were presentations by the president and CEO of the Connectivity Standards Alliance, CSA, Silicon Labs, Schneider Electric, Toya Smart, and Amazon. They even had a little panel discussion at the end, which was pretty cool. The entire keynote is available to the public now, so I'll put a link uh, down below in the description in case you want to check out the whole thing. So one of the first things that was mentioned is that 190 products are currently Matter certified or are in the process to be certified very soon um, at the time of that event. It's probably even more now. The product categories right now include include smart lighting, smart plugs, thermostats, shades, sensors, and smart locks. So yeah, your ring doorbell camera won't support Matter right away because cameras aren't supported in version 1.0, but hopefully soon. CSA announced they are planning a biannual release schedule, meaning, you know, basically two Matter version releases per year. Um, and what's even more exciting is that I noticed during a panel discussion, the president um, of the CSA said that, uh, you know, dot releases being those little smaller updates in between the major releases may bring new product categories. So that's exciting. They also discussed the actual rollout a little bit and sort of what to expect or what you should expect. Basically, don't think this is, you know, a magic bullet that's going to fix every smart home product you've ever seen, but it's definitely a huge start. You know, it was stated at one point that the industry has sorted it out. 
Um, and now it's up to the companies to bring products to the market that support matter. And in theory, this whole new standard should really make it easier, not just for consumers uh, like you and me, but also for these companies to bring products to the market. Take for example, um, Acara or Lutron. They make products that support HomeKit, Alexa, and Google, and even others. That means in the past they've had to develop you know, separately for all these different platforms, which, you know, I only imagine must be costly in both time and money. Now they just have to develop for one standard matter. And since Apple, Google, Alexa, and everyone else is agreeing on this standard, these products will just work. I think this could really speed up the development time for new products and should allow these companies to really focus on improving their products and services rather than having to develop for multiple platforms, you know, if that makes sense. Again, they did say this is just the beginning. We're gonna be in, you know, a transition period for a while. Uh, hopefully in three or so years, I think they said we'll live in a world that, you know, looks a little bit like their demo trailer where you can just walk into a store and simply grab anything that has that little matter logo on it and it'll work in your home. But they've also made it so that products in your house today will support Matter tomorrow. Well, not technically tomorrow, but you get the idea. Thanks to over-the-air firmware updates, many of your existing products that you already own and use in your home may support Matter very soon. So we've seen the demos, we've heard the talk. Uh, it's now supported by many products you know, like your Apple devices and things like that. But when will we be able to use Matter products in our home? As mentioned, there are already 190 devices certified uh, for Matter or close to that, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you can use these devices with Matter today. Uh, now we're sort of waiting on the software to catch up at this point. So let's talk about some of the announcements from the manufacturers of the devices uh, the smart home devices, that'll kind of shed a little bit of light on this. We'll start with the popular Philips Hue. The Philips Hue Bridge is now Matter certified, but according to an article by The Verge, the free update to support Matter won't come until the first quarter of 2023. You can begin using their beta release right now though if you want, and this update will make most of your existing and new Hue lights and accessories Matter compatible. The article stated that previous settings and personalizations in the Hue app as well as Google and Amazon integrations will be preserved, but Apple HomeKit users will need to reset everything to connect to Matter. So that kind of sucks. It'll be interesting to see if that's kind of the case for like all existing HomeKit products that receive this update. Um, if so, us HomeKit users might have a little work ahead of us. Nanoleaf also announced four new Matter compatible smart bulbs and light strips to its Essentials line. So Nanoleaf was one of the first companies to support HomeKit over Thread with their existing Essentials line of bulbs and strips. And now they'll be one of the first to offer lighting products to work with Matter. I do kind of wish that the existing ones that we bought or have now could be updated, but it does look like you'll have to get new light bulbs and light strips from Nanoleaf, and those will be released in early 2023, and they'll be offering an A19, a GU10, and a BR30 bulbs, and of course, their light strip. They also stated that they'll unveil a number of new Matter compatible products at CES 2023 that takes place each January in Las Vegas. So that should be exciting. Hopefully some more good stuff from Nanoleaf. Now Acara may be one of the first brands that you'll actually be able to use Matter with in the real world. Acara announced that users will first gain access to Matter in December of 2022 via the Acara Hub M2 through an over the air firmware update. Now this will allow existing Acara Zigbee devices to become compatible with Matter. I did a review of the M2 a while back when it first was released. You, if you know, if you want to check that out, I'll put a link somewhere up here for that. Other Acara hubs, including the Hub M1S, the Hub E1, the G3 camera hub, and the G2H Pro camera hub, will also receive similar updates in the following months. 
The software updates are expected to first expose more than 40 Acara Zigbee devices from their sensors to their wireless switches, to the curtain controllers and more. All that will gain matter support through the hub. Akar also announced a new lineup of thread-based devices. Uh, well, sorta. They actually announced that, uh, what, in January of 2022? Well, they're talking about it again now. So they're actually going to release that door and window sensor. It's called the P2 and the uh, motion and light sensor P2 will adopt the thread protocol among other enhancements to allow for native matter support and are set to release early 2023. Now they did go on to say that an array of thread based ACAR devices is to follow, including more smart sensors, dimmer switches, smart plugs, um, lights and the next generation smart home hub, the Acara M3 with multi-protocol support. That means it'll support multiple protocols as, such as Thread and Zigbee and allow it to kind of act as a Thread border router. They said they also have plans to open up the Acara Home app to support third-party matter devices. Essentially, you'll be able to use Acara, the Acara app as kind of your matter platform controller if you want, or at least that's what it sounds like. So excited to see their new Thread products and matter support as early as this December if you have that M2 hub. Eve, another one of my favorites, uh, who has made exclusively HomeKit supported smart home products, will now be supporting Matter, as you did see earlier in that demo. This means all of their products will eventually be able to work with any smart home platform, not just HomeKit. In a press release by Eve, they stated that the latest models of the Eve Energy smart plugs, the Eve door and window sensor, and the Eve motion sensor are now Matter certified. Starting December 12th, iPhone users can upgrade those devices for free in the Eve app to grant every family member local and direct access from their preferred smart home or voice assistant. So they'll support Matter. And the rest of their thread enabled lineup of products will receive the free Matter firmware updates over time. You'll be able to pick up Matter certified Eve products in retail beginning the first quarter of 2023, and they'll soon have an Android version of the Eve app, which of course has been exclusively iOS until now, as they've only supported HomeKit until now. So big stuff from Eve. Eve is kind of all in on Thread and Matter at this point and has been for a while. One of the more surprising announcements I came across was that Level's entire lineup of Bluetooth smart locks will be updated to support Thread. Now, according to an article by The Verge, Level's co-founder stated that, quote, all Level locks are 100% compatible with Matter and that the 2.4 gigahertz radio inside each level lock will be upgraded to support matter over thread. No timeline was given. Uh, kind of a shame that they haven't given us that thread update until now. If it's been in there this whole time, uh, would have been nice to be able to use, you know, HomeKit over thread on those locks instead of Bluetooth. I don't know, kind of strange, but nice to hear that they'll be supporting matter with all of their locks uh, in the future. The Schlage Encode Plus smart lock already supports Thread. Yale also stated that they'll be bringing Thread over Matter to its Assure 2 locks via an interchangeable networking module. Amazon, who is represented by one of the keynote speakers, claimed that Matter over Wi-Fi is coming in December of 2022 via 17 Echo devices covering smart plugs, switches, and bulbs, but only compatible with Android phones at first. Now they stated they will continue the rollout um, you know, into early 2023 with Matter over Thread, adding more device types and support for iOS. So uh, with Amazon stuff, it's kind of the opposite as we saw with Eve, they'll be supporting um, you know, iOS at first, and with Alexa, it'll be supporting only Android stuff at first, you know, at least in 2022. And then we should see everything updating in 2023 across platforms. So are you more confused than when we first started or are you excited? <laughs> let's uh, let's kind of wrap all this up and, and discuss where this is going and what to expect. Now, there's still a lot left you know, unseen and time will really tell how all this will actually work. We're still sort of in a weird transition period in both just the next few months and also over the next few years, I think. 
In the next few months, as early as December, we'll see companies rolling out Matter support for existing hardware or products uh, through firmware updates, and we may even see some new Matter certified products hit the shelves pretty soon, but we're still waiting on many apps to add support for Matter across platforms. iOS has added Matter support in the Home app via iOS 16.1 for iPhones, but Google and Amazon haven't yet for iOS. Samsung has support for SmartThings and Galaxy devices, and again, Amazon will be adding support for Androids very soon, but won't support iOS until 2023. Hopefully all the software and app updates will get worked out, you know, over the next few months and should make things a little easier once all that happens. And then I think it's just going to really be up to, you know, both the manufacturers of these smart home products and the platforms that we like to use, such as Apple Home, Alexa, SmartThings, Google, you know, all those to continue working together towards this common vision that they claim to share. And that's to do what's best for the consumer and the industry as a whole. No doubt some big strides have been taken for us to get to this point. Um, so the next few months and definitely the next year is gonna be a very interesting one um, as matter you know, really makes its way into the real world to everyday consumers like you and me. I do agree with some of the comments in the keynote that this is a big step and it's also just the beginning. So I think it's a necessary step in order to, you know, make the smart home that many of us envision, you know, become a reality. Let me know what you think about this matter. <laughs> There it is, it was bound to happen. Seriously, let's continue the conversation down in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts about all of this. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on new videos or the next time I go live here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.